Joining me a little early was Shadow of Home Affairs Minister James Patterson. Senator James Patterson, thank you so much for joining us. I've just shown the culture that Hamas built in Gaza over nearly two decades, constant preaching of Jew hatred, of violence, of armed struggle or terrorism. Do you think this government has any clue about the kind of society there when it's giving nearly 3,000 people from Gaza just tourist visas with minimal checks, no interviews to come to Australia? Andrew, I hope they have no idea, because if they do know about that and they nonetheless have recklessly decided to bring in 3,000 people with inadequate security checks on tourist visas, then they're guilty of grave irresponsibility for our country. The Prime Minister talks about the importance of social cohesion. He says he's appalled by anti-Semitism, and yet it's very difficult to reconcile those things with the decisions he's presided over to bring people in who are at risk of exacerbating those problems and making them even worse. The sad truth is that the people of Gaza has been subject to Hamas-level indoctrination for decades. Many people have been raised knowing nothing else other than hatred of Jews, hatred of Israel, hatred of Western civilization. And I think that's why we do need to have high standards. We do need to say we only want to welcome people to our country that want to uphold what is good about our country and make it better, not undermine it or change it fundamentally. Honestly, the people saying, well, yes, well, uh, look at the Ukrainians we brought in, as if the Ukrainian culture is similar to the culture in Gaza. It's just so unreal. But let me now show you, uh, show viewers again what Abul Rizvi, a former Home Affairs the Deputy Secretary, has told the Australian newspaper, that the Department of Home Affairs would have said to, the, to this Albanese government, do not bring in these refugees on tourism visas. It would have advised that humanitarian visas were a better option, but the government went down a path that it thought was politically safer, not the best policy path. And now he said it's blown up in their face. Do you believe that's actually what happened, that the department advised against this? These are very serious allegations from someone who is no friend of the coalition or the Liberal Party. In fact, normally, Abdul Rizvi is attacking us uh, for the things that we have said and done. So it's highly significant that he's accused the Labor Party of three pretty grave sins in this area. One, ignoring departmental advice two, departing from past practice, and three, engaging in politicised decision-making to reach those conclusions. And I think it is incumbent on the government to release that advice, to put it beyond doubt. What was the Department of Home Affairs advising them to do? It's very difficult to imagine that the Department of Home Affairs was saying it's a good idea to give tourist visas to people fleeing a war zone controlled by a terrorist organisation and to do so in some instances as quickly as an hour and on average in 24 hours. I'd be surprised if that was the advice, but only Tony can put this beyond doubt by releasing that advice publicly and he should do so. Well, the Attorney-General, Mark Dreyfus, uh, today refused to confirm or deny there was any such advice. He deflected instead. Have a listen. Uh, what Mr Rivsey actually said, and I'd invite everyone to look at his story, is that Australia should be a country which shows compassion for people fleeing violence for people fleeing war zones. He says that, but he's also questioned the choice of visitor visas. So again... Uh, I'm not going to engage in speculation. Uh, I'm going to point to what Mr Rizby, Rizby actually said. And I'd say again that the arrangements, the security vetting, the security agencies, the personnel in the security agencies that are in use now under our government are the same as were in use under the previous government. Now, James, I would have thought that uh, Mark Dreyfus, the Attorney-General, being Jewish himself, would have a very heightened appreciation of the dangers here. But that deflection, what was your, what's your response? Well, points to Mark Dreyfus for upholding the party talking points and sticking to the line. But... Everybody can see that it is no longer viable or tenable to argue that what this government has done is what the same as the previous government did. I mean, the process under the previous government in relation to the Syrian evacuees and Afghanistan uh, was completely different. People were taken to third countries. They were interviewed in person by Australian government officials. Biometric assessments were done. Uh, and only then, when security checks could be satisfied, were people given visas to come to Australia. In this case, they granted visas to 3,000 Gaza residents, sight unseen, no interviews, no biometric tests, nothing. And they have rushed this process. And it is untenable for Mark Dreyfus or anyone else to try and uh, insist otherwise. 
the fact that they keep sticking to this line, despite all the evidence to the contrary, really shows the contempt they have for the people of Australia who are seeing through this and can see through this. And I think it's doing them great damage. Riz, uh, Rizvi, this uh, former deputy uh, head of the uh, uh, Home Affairs Department, did say that what you're asking for, a ban on all refugees from Gaza for now, is unlawful under the Migration Act. Is he right? No, he's not. In fact, what Peter Dutton has been calling for is upholding the principles of the Migration Act, which is that tourist visas should not be given to people who have no intention to return from where they came. It's a temporary visa and it's been granted to people who Tony Burke says have no prospect of returning. So Peter Dutton's asking that that principle of the Migration Act be upheld. He's also asking that the principle of the Migration Act, that we have character provisions that we apply to applicants, also be upheld. I think if you're a Hamas supporter, whether it's rhetorical or otherwise, you're violating all principles of the character provisions of the Migration Act and your visa should be refused on that basis. The truth is, right now, no one's getting out of... Uh, Gaza because the Rafa border crossing is closed and so the government does have the time to get this right to pause and to do it properly and we would support it if they did it properly but there's no evidence that they're doing so. Senator James Patterson thank you so much for your time. Thanks Andrew.